Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly with Zoho CRM. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log into our existing account. Once we're in, in here at Calendly Workspace, we want to go to Integrations and check for Zoho. Uh, as you can see, there's no option for integrations with Zoho CRM, CRM uh, straight through Calendly. So we want to use help of third-party app, which will be ultimate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the descriptions underneath this video. Yet again, we want to go to integrations and once this pop-up window show up, we want to click on see all categories. Now we want to start with Calendly here. On the opposite side, uh, we want to go with its counterpart, which will be Zoho CRM. As you can see, it's here. Straight away, we are offered with some popular integrations for us. So as you can see, those are like add an event in Zoho on a new event in Calendly. But if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to start with Calendly here. And on the opposite side, underneath the actions, let's go with Zoho CRM. Now uh, we want to go and click on Try It Now button, uh, where we get asked to register or log into our existing account at ultimate.io. It's very easy and ultimate, ultimate will do a lot of stuff for you. So once you log in, you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. The other app, or another app that we can use is zapier.com. It's very, very similar to ultimate.io, but it works slightly different. Uh, let me show you how. Once we're in here at Zapier, we want to go to the top left corner and click on create zap. Straight away, we want to start with the trigger app. So, as you probably thought, it's Calendly. Trigger event we have to uh, pick manually as well. So, invite created, for example. We hit continue. Now we have to log into our Calendly account. We hit continue. And now we can test the trigger between, between Calendly and Zapier itself. On the second action, you want to go with Zoho here. Click Zoho, action event. Also, we have to pick manually, so let's go with the first one. We click continue. And the last thing is we have to log into Zoho. That's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.